I'll give you a little piece of advice in Florida. I, I, I don't. <laughs> we're, I'm not going to talk. We're a con. No, you got a girlfriend. Just joking. <laughs> I'm not going to talk you about. You got a girlfriend. I'm just joking. I'm not going to talk about Miami yet. I'll mention a couple restaurants that you should go to. Cafe Europa, the oh, Obi House for breakfast. Those are two of my spots. Go see Rodney at the Obi House. Best breakfast of all time. Uh, but just a heads up. Do not look at the puck. When Alex Barkov comes at you one-on-one -on -one in practice, because he's absolutely <laughs> going to dance you. He's one of the sickest hockey players on planet Earth. He is. He's a hockey freak. And when you just said your team is loaded, super highly skilled, you just touched on it. Like some of the stuff that these guys are doing day in, day out, highlight real goals. It's a team that you are going to fit in with. Um, I think back watching you in the playoffs a couple years ago in Anaheim where you would carry the puck end-to-end -end and, and you, know, you compliment good skating. Uh, these guys all are offense first. Uh, you got a great coach that lets the guys play. I'm really excited to see. It. I know Obes is fired up. He called this, and uh, you know it's exciting. So tomorrow, when is your first game? Tomorrow, you guys are in Tampa. Be, yeah, tomorrow we're you're playing Tampa. And you haven't met any of the boys yet. No, no. So I mean, I, I think we have a dinner and coming up here. So I might text a few of them and say, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get together here. It's been a while. <laughs> I put him in a little group text with Mackenzie Weger, my boy Weegs, good, who good. I had in San Antonio. And uh, you and Weegs, you'll get along well. You guys are both character guys. He plays. He's a right shot like yourself. He could play the off wing. Maybe maybe you guys will play together. But he's a guy, Monty, that you'll you'll love going to the rink with. He's a good kid. But Keith Yandel, too. Keith yeah. Yandel's a guy that you'll gel with. Every guy that's played yeah. with him is a guy that they rave about having him as a teammate. So I'll make sure I send a text out to him for you as well. Monty, have you have you had a? We've talked about Coach Q a lot on this pod this year, and I've I, we've all talked about him on the radio shows we do about how good of a job. Have you had a moment to talk to Coach Q yet since you've been traded? Yeah, I know he uh, he called me, <clears throat> but like you said, I mean, just his resume speaks for itself. You know, he he's been you know through everything, so just the chance to kind of be around that and um, see what he's all about. Um, obviously, you know, he's had some talented defensemen. You know, a guy. Obviously, Duncan Keith, someone that, you know, I can hopefully, you know, play like or have some comparables to that, you know, style of play. So um, he knows what it's all about. And hopefully, you know, uh, we can gel and uh, make some make some something happen here. Anytime a coach makes his team go to Vegas during <laughs> yeah. the season yeah. and then goes and wins the cup every year with them. I mean, that's a guy That's a guy you want to play for. That's right a there. guy I'll block a shot Never for. Never right cancels there. a team party. Never. It's like his rule. <laughs> Um, so we all played in Florida. We know what to expect. You're going to, you know, you got a great, the fan base that are there are, are, you know, they're, uh, they love their boys. Um, this is to me, you guys, you guys face off against, you know, Carolina, Tampa, any team in that division really well is, um, are you looking forward to kind of, I guess, getting out there, feeling what it's like to be in a, you know, to be in a hunt again, to be in a playoff race. I mean, it must be just a good feeling for you to, to finally play some games that are worthwhile. That's what I wanted this whole, you know, this full year. Um, you know, once we start losing in Buffalo, I was just kind of like, I, I need to, to get it somewhere and start winning again, or, you know, just that itch, um, itch for the playoffs, you know, uh, we experienced it in Anaheim, you know, we went to the conference finals and, you know, ever since then, like I, I got traded, um, Buffalo was already out of it. Uh, they fire a coach, they fire another coach and um, we just, couldn't figure it out there obviously, but, um, you know, you know, the whole point we play is to win and to get that, you know, chance or just that feeling of playoffs again. And I know with maybe with or without fans or what, whatnot this year, but just that intensity and, um, you know, that, that close to, to winning it is important. And I think just for me is, you know, just so relieved to, to have that chance again. So, uh, you know, I'm excited just to, to get started here.